Now here's the next step. Repeat after me, please. It's possible. I can live my dream. It's necessary. I work on myself. Surround myself with winners. I've got to make it happen. It's not over. Good afternoon. My name is Angel Scott, and I bring you the Black History segment of our news broadcast. Today we start with Louis Latimer. In 1874, along with W.C. Brown, Latimer co-invented and improved a train water closet, which was a bathroom compartment for railroad trains. In 1876, Latimer was sought out as a draftman by a teacher for deaf children. The teacher had created a device and wanted Lewis to draft the drawing necessary for a patent application. The teacher was Alexander Graham Bell, and the device was the telephone. In 1880, after moving to Bridgeport, Connecticut, Latimer was hired as the assistant manager and draftsman for the U.S. Electric Lighting Company, owned by Hiram Maxim. Maxim was the chief rival to Thomas Edison, the man who invented the electric light bulb. The light was composed of a glass bulb which surrounded a carbon wire filament generally made out of bamboo, paper, or thread. When the filament was burned inside of the bulb, which contained almost no air, it became so hot that it actually glowed. Latimer devised a way of encasing the filament within a cardboard envelope, which prevented the carbon from breaking and thereby provided a much longer life to the bulb, and hence made the bulb less expensive and more efficient. This enabled electric lighting to be installed within homes and throughout streets. Latimer's abilities in electric lighting became well known and soon he was sought after to continue to improve on incandescent lighting as well as arc lighting. Eventually, as more major cities began wiring their streets for electric lightning, Latimer was dispatched to lead the planning team. He helped to install the first electric plants in Philadelphia, New York City, and Montreal, and oversaw the installation of lighting in railroad stations, government building, and major thoroughfares in Canada, New England, and London. In 1894, he created a safety elevator. He next received a patent for locking racks for hats, coats, and umbrellas. The device was used in restaurants, hotels, and office buildings, holding items securely and allowing owners of items to keep them from getting misplaced or accidentally taken by others. He next created an improved version of a book supporter used to keep books neatly arranged on shelves. Latimer next devised a method of making rooms more sanitary and climate controlled. He termed his device an apparatus for cooling and disinfecting. The device worked wonders in hospitals, preventing dust and particles from circulating within patient rooms and public areas. Latimer died on December 11, 1928, and left behind a legacy of achievement and leadership that much of the world owes thanks. Thank you.